this is news of Kazan Federal University. My name is Olga Danilova. Let's start. The school year has begun and Kazan Federal University has a lot of plans and events ahead. Perhaps the most important event is anniversary of the university. Kazan Federal University is one of the oldest universities in Russia and in 2014 it celebrates 210th anniversary of its foundation. Kazan University is not only proud of its significant past, it looks to the future with confidence. In 2013, Kazan University won the right to participate in a program of improving the competitiveness of the universities among world-leading research and educational centers. The goal of this program is to increase the rating of Russian universities and output them to top positions. The results of such fruitful work are visible. This year, Kazan Federal University raised to 50th position in the QS ranking and it's now a part of the group 551 to 600 of international ranking. No doubt, orientation of the university for research trend, including joint project with world leaders, influenced on these achievements. Perhaps the cooperation with Institute of Japan Riken is a case in point. Japan and Tatarstan with Kazan Federal University are separated by huge geographic space. But what's interesting is that one of the world leaders in science, Institute of Physical and Chemical Researches, Riken, cooperates with Kazan Federal University in Russia. Institute of Physical and Chemical Researches, Riken, is a major scientific and research institute in Japan. Riken conducts research in many fields of science – physics, chemistry, biology, medicine, engineering and computer science. March 1917 is the date of the foundation of the institute. In 2002, in Japan, based on Riken, a nanotechnology center was opened, and a number of scientific collaborative projects have been implemented since this year. On the basis of the joint graduate program was preparing graduate students. In 2010, the first cooperation agreement between the Institute of Physics and Riken came into force. In spring of 2011, a unique event had place. Alexander Badrudinov protected PhD in Physics and Mathematics at Kazan Federal University and International PhD in Philosophy at Institute Riken. In the same year, the rector of Kazan Federal University, Ilshad Gafurov, visited Riken Institute for detailed discussion of the plan of more dense and effective cooperation. As a result, a scientific laboratory complex, KFU Riken, was opened at the Institute of Physics. At the opening of the complex, Nobel laureate, president of Riken, Noyori Ryoji, came. He left Kazan in the rank of honorary doctor of Kazan Federal University. The laboratory is mainly engaged in the physics of complex systems, problems in the physics of strongly correlated election system, low temperature physics. We have prepared several graduate students in the framework of this cooperation. But time doesn't stand. We started cooperation with other institutions. In particular, in 2012, a second conference, second workshop, Kazan Federal University Riken, was organized. There, 10 scientists from Riken came here with reports. 10 scientists from other side made presentations too. As a result, scientific cooperation was born here. The result of its work we can see. An opening biofunctional laboratory at Institute of Chemistry. In our project, we are going to design and develop the synthesis of such compounds as glycan that can selectively detect tumors or organs and we plan based it in Kazan Federal University with support of Riken Institute, which has a much richer instrumental base. This is a completely new direction for our research group and for the Institute of Chemistry. We should mention that with the opening of Biofunctional Chemistry Lab, absolutely new promising line of research appeared in the world. These studies may lead to quite unexpected results, said one of the most promoting scientists of Riken, Professor Katsunori Tanaka. He will conduct his researches in Kazan Federal University in new laboratory for all year. So um, we are going to use the kind of difficult to explain, but the glycans uh, nobody has done in the world. Uh, that some people think it's not good, mm -hmm. so no other people have think of this before. So we are going to use that glycan interaction from the Kazan and the Japan collaboration. That's why I selected the Kazan.
As the math has a system of parallel computing, for us progress is not smooth, but as they say in English, it goes step by step or explosively. We develop those topics that are popular today in research centers around the world. In globalized world, the distance is compressed, the time is reduced and flows away into the sand. He wins who has. Who is in the team with leaders is strong doubly. Union of equals, the union of leaders can give strong synergy, a sudden jerk. These are the real truth in science too. What is the main indicator of competitiveness of the world-class universities? A combination of scientific research and high-level education. No doubt, Kazan University holds the scientific research of world-class. And we are going to tell about one of them, a global research project that is developed in Kazan Federal University with support of Japanese scientists and Roscosmos. A unique space experiment, Space Mitch, is one of the biggest projects in the world undertaken by Kazan Federal University. The essence of the experiment is to understand and to study the effect of spice flight on living organisms. The project is a part of joint research program of the space agencies of Russia and Japan. This is the first step towards the development of a prototype of experiment of equipment that can be used for introduction of human into artificial sleep during long interplanetary mission and possibly future colonization of other planets. Head of the laboratory Extreme Environment and Adaptation, established at the Institute of Basic Medicine and Biology of Kazan Federal University, Alek Gusev, is one of the scientists who participate in the experiment. Being in Japan, Alek told us what the essence of the experiment was. We have already approached the real use of other planets as space for researchers. The question is the finding of biological object which can be delivered without energy loss. Can you imagine that the astronauts can't be put to sleep and it doesn't matter what the temperature is? And such cryptobiotic organism we are working with, this is actually a prototype and a real biological material that can be used and work is already underway for a new generation of life support system. However, experiments are carried out not only in distant Japan, but also in Kazan University. Historically, our country has a very good experimental work on the spacecraft boards. But until recently, our country was lagging behind in the field of molecular genetic studies. It was a strange imbalance. For example, Japan has little chance to conduct research in space but a very powerful infrastructure for the analytical studies. And our country had many space exploration missions, but a qualitative analysis of the samples was on the last place. This unfortunate omission now is eliminated with the help of Kazan University. Now there is a network of Russian-Japanese experiments and we feel an application to the Federal Space Agency, actively cooperate with it, including a partnership agreement between Roscosmos and Kazan Federal University. We have become one of the first centers focused on space research and can truly say that a full cycle of analysis of these unique specimens is held in our country, in Tatarstan, in our university. Another experiment supported by Kazan Federal University was planned for about 10 years and now it is considered to be breakthrough. At this time it is fish which flies into space, not mosquito. Fish is a unique animal, it lives in an aquatic environment and it's rightfully considered one of the components of future life support system for all flights. But there have been no single study that would answer the question of how these animals are explored to the effect of spice flights. Such achievements of Kazan Federal has been recognized from the scientific assembly of the Committee of Space Research in Moscow. Now members of Biochemical Space Research develop another research project which will involve mammals. The first month of new school year was full of events for students. A year of study, lectures and seminars is ahead. But students' life, it's not only scientific work, it's a creativity. The first year students were able to taste students' life on a brightful event, a sport flash mob with a concert. In September, hundreds of first-year students joined eventful students' life of Kazan Federal University, and they immediately plunged into their pool of events. 
first-year students participated in a sport flash mob dedicated to the 210th anniversary of the founding of Kazan University. Our students are famous for their achievements not only in education but also in sport and self-development, and this flash mob proved it. At the same time, 210 people lifted 16 pounds weights 10 times. 200 of them were students of institutes and departments and 10 were representatives of the administration of Kazan Federal University and Kazan. Also, the head of the university, Rector Ilshad Gafurov, participated in the flash mob. He even surpassed the task and raised 16 pounds weight more than 10 times. On the one hand, I remembered my youth. On the other hand, dialogue with young people always gives a charge of vivacity and energy and power to live and work. Sports Flash Mob is a special event because it orients us to the physical training, sport, focus on sport lifestyle, because not only in a healthy body is a healthy mind, so it was, is and always will be. Sport is life. We always visit sport events. We are now in the third year. This was great, beautiful event. Young first-year students and senior students were impressed by colorful flash mob. But it was not only the end. In order to spend four years of study useful and colorful, you need to have a full understanding of the opportunities of students' life. Concert tour of the students' life demonstrated bright and creative life in the alma mater for third-year students. The best bands and dance groups, solo performers, Kiwi and teams and creative communities performed there. Senior students presented rich artistic heritage which consists of best items of the new generation. Brilliant performances of students' group, including songs, dances, videos, greeting, useful tips and stories about the university, had enormous success with public. First-year students were convinced that the study year is not just lectures, seminars, tests and exams, but also numerous cultural and sport events full of student spirit and enthusiasm. In Kazan Federal University, all the conditions for opening and development of creative abilities of each student were created. And the next flash mob didn't take long. The sensational international charity event Ice Booklet Challenge reached Kazan University. That's all for today. Thank you very much for attention. Goodbye!